Hello, Earth Sign Darlings. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you, motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRosamoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation of workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Massage the cards for the earth gods, okay? So, you already know how I do from the 10th through the 11th, Romance Angels. We open up from there, possible outcomes. Keep in mind that the time is fluid, people change, and so do the cards, okay? So, let's see what's going down. Here we go. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Spirit, what you got for me, baby? Flirt, uh-oh. Extend your light-hearted energy to others, okay? So, be like, hey, 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 baby. What you got? Okay. So, somebody needs to reach out and touch somebody's hand. You might need to kiss and touch, is what I'm seeing here, earth signs. You might also just, you know, be so kind and help people that surround you if you see them in need, all right? Could be just a flirtation thing. Somebody might need to get out there on the dating website, the dating app. Okay, Facebook. Because, you know, on Facebook, they do have that dating app, don't they? They sure do, huh? Yeah, so it extends your lighthearted energy to others. And also, there could be a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, baby. Okay, now, so you could be dealing with someone from the past. You could have rekindled some shit with somebody and they here. Okay, boom, we here. And also release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. So, if some of you are already in a relationship, it could be that you need to flirt. All right, or you might need to get rid of your ex's energy, whatever the case may be. But I'm definitely seeing that there could be a reconciliation that's happening for some of you guys. We're going to go from there. All right. So, I'm going to start out with this release your ex. Let's see what's going on. Release your ex, earth sign. Okay, somebody could have been sharing too much of the love, baby. <laughs> but it says share the love and also balance. So, like I said, you know, with this reconciliation, you could just be needing to release that energy overall. Okay, so you can have an equal balance. Because I feel like it is going to be a lot of love coming in for you guys, especially with releasing your ex or letting go of this person. All right. Now, whether you had a reconciliation with them, it could tie into that same energy. All right. But with this reconciliation, I'm seeing you need to believe and succeed, baby. So you might need to try again. Dust yourself off and try that shit again. Okay. You also could be needing to um, open up, but I feel with this reconciliation, there needs to be a healing process first before you give out the infinity stone, okay? So with this flirt, it's saying to open up, extend your lighthearted energy, um, you know, let your inhibitions run wild with your darkest fears in that flirt, okay? So, uh-oh, you might need to release something here. You also might need to just, you know, pick and choose how you want things to go. Might need to communicate as well. So, one more. Your crown chakra. So, uh, for some of you earth signs, you're really like getting the top of the matter done with this crown chakra. All right. Some of you all are bringing in that intellect. You're using your wittiness, your quickness, okay, your quirkiness. Because you might need to spread your rings and fly. I did just see that card. Okay, talk to me. So, 
let's see what tarot has to say about flirt reconciliation and release your ex here we go i'm going to start out with release your ex you already know how i do so ten of pentacles i feel like there was something with a possible another virgo taurus capricorn um but i'm seeing here some of you guys could have made a decision or Someone needs to make a decision how it's going to work out. Instability, okay, gaining stability, bringing the foundations together that you need to bring together. Some of y'all could be having some little puppies and shit. But I'm seeing, uh, you know, there's some contracts that you need to let go of. Could be an ending here. Somebody could have moved as well. Also, with the strength energy, I feel, um, you know, it could be that you've moved on. And with that strength, you gain a lot of clarity, a lot of confidence to keep it pushing, all right, from releasing your ex. Definitely Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Also, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, Ace of Swords. So, with this reconciliation, Communication is up in this bitch, okay? Will of Fortune could have been a past soulmate, but there's definitely uh, a lot of new beginnings here. You got the Ace of Cups and also the Ace of Swords, so someone could be trying to communicate with you. You could have had or felt like it was a double-edged sword, or you could have felt like somebody was sending you some offers, but these offers were, um, you know, someone needed to see the truth in it all, or you could be seeing the truth in it all with the High Priestess within these offers that someone has to give also some sort of commitment energy here so some of you all definitely could be married or you could be reconciling with someone um that you've tried over and over again okay especially with this will of fortune knight of cups okay somebody coming back to bring you some love a cup of love all right so cancer by scorpio gemini libra aquarius all right leo Sag, so yeah, there's some commitment um, for some of you guys. There could have been a third party situation with this reconciliation, but or someone could be uh, distant or living far, all right. But I feel like with this flirt, there could be somebody who's coming in and out, could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Also, Leo, a lot of fire and air here, okay? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. But with this world energy, it's saying that you want to bring things together. There could be something that comes into completion. You, look, you want it to end. It could be with a third-party situation. It looks like it's definitely going to come to a close. Uh, when someone was, you know, kind of just standing around and waiting some sort of results here. Uh, but it could have been, you know, that they were waiting too long. Okay, uh, but it's saying to flirt because somebody's not getting the social cues, baby. They're not understanding these social cues that somebody's throwing out there. So um, I do feel with that being said, there's definitely this energy of a unionship coming together. Okay, two of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person might have a hard time coming towards you. But they're going to draw forward some movement, okay? They could be cutting their losses right now, but they're going to be drawing forward, okay? So let's see about possible outcomes. Definitely a lot of flirtation here with this full energy at the bottom of the deck. So somebody who was wanting a new beginning or just, you know, wanting that fresh start of something different. Okay. So let's see possible outcomes for my earth signs. Capricorn. Virgo and Taurus daily motherfucking vibe. Here we go. I priest this once again. So you guys are using some real serious intuition, your spirituality. Okay, Wheel of Fortune here again. Chariot here again. All right. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We pretty much got the same cards. Ooh, devil. Okay. Let me get a clarifier for the devil. Ace of Swords. Okay, so there could have been a toxic connection that you cut off or there was some slow uh, 
movement happening. But it looks like someone's going to, it could have been a lot of people, a lot of struggles, okay, some people in competition with each other. Um, but I'm seeing that there's going to be some slow movement coming from this person because there was a lot of people involved or someone had to let go. Uh, four of pentacles coming in reverse. Will of fortune. Once again, so there is a change of destiny happening here, or it's going to be a instant spark for some of you guys to let go, either to let go because you know the truth, high priestess, because you know that this person could be very slow, okay, at moving. What I'm seeing here, um, possible out of the lot of communication happening here, but with this devil, I feel like you're letting go. Okay, full energy once again. So there's a new beginning happening. All right, definitely going to be some communication coming in. Earth signs. This is quite interesting. It might be, you know, a back and forth uh, bounce or balance between each other with this full energy coming in twice. All right, he's trying to balance multiple things. Uh, the suns, the signs. He got the, uh, he got the rainbows and the ribbons and shit. So yeah, he's trying to do a lot, you know, and balance back and forth. But I feel like there's a definite connection getting ready to come in. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay, so talk to me, baby. Some of you all definitely could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But love is coming in. Ace of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Okay, this could be something you've been waiting for to talk to someone or to communicate with someone. This is opening up those lines of communication here. Yeah, Page of Wands, Tower Energy. So definitely some sort of communication coming in with the Leo, Sag, Aries, okay, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Tower Energy. So let's see, Page of Swords, someone is fine here. Okay, it could be on your love. It could be jealous. It could be very impulsive as well. A lot of uh, pages here. Um, someone was definitely being dishonest or they could have been watching you because they were, you know, having some things that they had to look back on or they were being deceptive. Okay, it looked like he's stealing something or something. Okay, it looked like he took it but didn't really mean to take too much, but he got the swords anyway, and you know, he he took it. All right, but you could be turning down this offer as well with the four of cups, all right, or someone is really contemplating turning down an offer. But also with this ace of pentacles, I see you definitely gearing yourself towards um, a financial status uh, first, and then there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of new beginnings coming in for you guys, okay. So, damn, a lot of new beginnings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming in. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to get on out of here. I hope that this comes into fruition because this looks absolutely fucking wonderful. Damn it. If you need to get a personal read, hit the description box, baby. Check out my website. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.